Hey, good late evening, you guys. I am still on my mental health break. Yes, I am. But, you know, I can't help but watch the news, even though I'm really supposed to be just reading. I can't help but watch the news. Looking at this story of Jordan Neely and Daniel Penny. Both New Yorkers, it seems. Um, the title is what grabbed me first. Marine veteran, college student, a white guy, 24, killed a homeless black man with mental illness that's been arrested 44 times. This is what various articles on the internet I was reading. Right there. But we all know or we should know that that's what the media does, right? They put out what they want you to follow. However, it's very tricky because everyone has cameras now and everyone filmed what was going on. Now, granted, I have not really researched like I normally do, but they had cameras of Penny having to restrain Jordan because he was, the article said, a menace in bothering people. However, people say he was hungry. He was asking for food. He was asking for donations. He was asking for money. But he did not physically, physically bother anybody. There should be video of that, right? Now, this actually happened May 1st. Not that long ago. And there has to be videos showing where he was, I'm talking about Jordan, aggressive towards some of the passengers. My first thinking was the white guy, the Marine, ex-Marine veteran. I was like, he can't be from New York. Because that's what they do in New York. It's always some body on the subway or standing outside the subway or somewhere, you know, asking for money for something. Always. Always. And then they said he was from Long Island. I suppose that's a part of New York, I suppose. But it just... (laughs) Danny Penny, Daniel Penny, he says he was not trying to kill him, just to restrain him, even though the onlookers, the witnesses, was telling him to let him go or to stop because Jordan was showing some signs of discomfort. But he continued And he said he didn't mean to do it. Offered condolences and everything. The city medical examiner, he says that Jordan Neely died of compressions to the neck. He was choked. We couldn't breathe. It's definitely a homicide, but they're asking, was it murder? I know there have been small marches. Jordan had a family. And trying to figure out why he was even put in that situation where he had to even be restrained if he wasn't doing anything. So I would love to see videos of where he was aggressive that day and bothering people. I have not rode the subway in years, decades even. I haven't rode the subway because I haven't been in New York in a while, but it hasn't changed. It may have gotten worse, but it hasn't changed. And there's always going to be people in there, odd, strange, and asking for money and showing you things and trying to sell things. That's just how it is. And no, he did not deserve to die like that 
He should have let him up. What really was Danny's... I mean, was he trying to be a hero? Was he? I don't know. And I'm trying not to place him, and I hate to talk about this fool here, George Zimmerman. Because he clearly was trying to be a cop. If you remember, he had failed many tests to try to be a cop, and he could not be a cop. And then he wanted to be Neighborhood Watch. And he called and told the police that an older black man, but it was a boy, what was Trayvon, like 14, 15, it was a boy, what looked suspect or some shit like that. And the cops told him, okay, we'll handle it. We'll handle it. So you guys know the story. He followed Trayvon anyway, and Trayvon basically whooped his ass and he pulled out a gun and killed him. I mean, you could look at Trayvon and tell that he was a child, you know? So I hate to try to put the two of these stories together. They they may not be similar, but I mean, sometimes we need heroes and sometimes we don't. And it's looking from a lot of the articles that I've read that no one was being touched or violated or any form by Jordan. He was just asking for money. And that clip that I showed you earlier, they said that was dated April 1st where he was asking for donations. And this was the F train. So this is just something that he did. Wow, it's it's just terrible. Again, I try to come with all the facts, but that's basically it because again, I'm supposed to be on my mental health break. But I just had to bring this and I will definitely continue looking at my news, even though I'm not supposed to, but you know, you miss one day. You miss a lot in this fucked up world that we currently live in. So that is, that is Jordan Neely's story right now. And what grabs me is why, why isn't this or haven't this ex- Marine veteran, college student. Really, why hasn't he been arrested? That is really what pisses me off the most. It doesn't matter if you didn't mean to do it. It was done. A person has passed away. And you were the reason. Why has he not been arrested? I could think of one reason mental health take care of each other good night